Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, obviously, we're doing some Reddit content. We're looking at Am I the Arsehole? Do you know, I always feel weirdly lazy when I do Reddit content, but I enjoy it because it's being nosy in other people's business, right? And they're offering it up, it's free real estate. But plus on TikTok, the accounts that I follow the most or like listen to or watch the most are the Reddit robot voice videos. Ada for giving peanuts to my sister who's allergic. For context, my sister 23F and I to 6F went on a trip with our parents last week. My sister forgot her bathing suit and insisted she borrowed one of mine. So this is just me doing that, but like adding an opinion, right? <laughs> I need justification for doing this. Anyway, am I the arsehole for not letting my girlfriend eat the naan bread we ordered? My girlfriend and I got takeout from an Indian restaurant we like and order from usually when our budget allows us. This place is really the only good Indian place anywhere near us, but it's very pricey. And so we try to keep our order small. One entree for me, one entree for her, a side of naan bread that we share. The thing is, the side of bread isn't very much. <laughs> and the entree just isn't the same without it. So it seriously annoys me when she eats the bread without dipping it in her curry. It's such a waste of the little bread we get. I told... <laughs> what are you, the naan police? I told her this before, but she says it's not my concern how she eats her food. Except it is my concern because she's wasting a shared side. Whatever. I let it go each time. Clearly you don't, bro. Clearly you're holding on to this resentment. It's bubbling away. This time she didn't order curry like she usually does. She got birani, rice and meat. So I was happy that I would get the bread to myself. While we were eating, she reaches over for the bread and eats a piece on its own. I got annoyed and moved the bread away from her and told her she doesn't need the bread since she isn't eating a curry and doesn't need bread, whereas I am eating a curry, so I do need bread. <laughs> I didn't realise you needed bread to eat a curry. Didn't, re didn't realise that. Wow, aren't I stupid? Also, her entree comes with rice and she can eat that. She got offended and ended up threatening not to pay her share for the food next... They pay, they split it, they go halves, they go halves, and he's complaining about how she eats her half of the nun. Is he a lunatic? She also called me a greedy arsehole and took her food and ate the rest in our bedroom. My friends are split. One of them, one of them, says I'm in the right and it's too much carbs for one meal for her to have bread and bread. It's a takeaway night. Who gives a shit about carbs, you useless mouth breathers? But the other friend essentially also called me a greedy arsehole. It's been hours and she's ignoring me. Am I the ar What do you think? You schmuck. You absolute idiot. You, you idiot. You're honestly an idiot. I don't, know what's, I don't know what's wrong with you. OP has offered the following explanation for why they think they might be the arsehole. I took the bread away from my girlfriend after she wasted some of it. Some people might say, since we both paid for the totality of the meal, I can't tell her what to eat and what not to eat. But at the same time, I should also get a say about it since I paid as well. Not if you've paid jointly and you're sharing it. You don't get a say in how someone likes to eat their food. Also, what type of naan is it? Is it like a plain naan or is it a stuffed naan? So if it's like a peshwari naan, you can totally eat that by itself without dipping it in curry. If it's a plain naan, what, you've never eaten like a plain slice of bread or like a like a piece of bread? But shut up. What are the comments saying? You are a gigantic arsehole. You don't get to decide for someone how they eat their food. If you're splitting the bill, she gets to eat some bread. You know, this person playing about too many, like too much carbs or just eating bread by itself, which is not what I like to do. Right, I like to get a chapati or a roti, right, the um the flatbread, yeah. And I always get like sagaloo or bombeloo. Sometimes I just like to put that in, eat like that, right? So that's carbs and carbs. That's bread and potato. It would blow this guy's mind if he'd heard of that. Anyway, you're the arsehole divorce. Am I the arsehole for refusing to babysit my grandchild due to her not being my biological grandkid? I was told to come here. My son was married to Emma. They got married, had a kid. My son was married to Emma. Like I just know who Emma is. Okay. They got married, had a kid. Apparently he had doubts about if he was the father and got a DNA test. He was not, but he's been in the kid's life for four years. And his name is on the birth certificate. So he's legally responsible and he still loves the kid. I already don't like this one because I know that some people are going to get quite offensive about it. Now my issue is that before they divorced I was never allowed near the grandkid. I asked to babysit but they both cited my home was unsafe and they do not trust me with a baby. <laughs> but where's that come from? <laughs> even if I raised four kids. They weren't even, well one of the kids is you, you raise four kids but like one of your kids is saying that they won't trust you with a, their baby. So is there something there? They wouldn't even bring the kid to family events like Christmas. They did this with all the other siblings. I know I'm 
I know I am more country than them, but it hurt a lot. My other kid's relationship with him is strained because they believe he is looking down on them after he got a city job. This feels so... What? Now, after the divorce, he has the kid almost 50% of the time. He keeps asking me to babysit. I told him straight up that I will not babysit the kid since she is not my grandkid. Okay, you're the asshole. Because if your, your boy sees the child as his child, you're the asshole for that. But let's not jump ahead of ourselves you made it clear i wasn't good enough to babysit when you thought she was your kid huge argument he thinks i'm awful i just think he wants someone's parent due to not being able to rely on his ex-wife anymore there is not enough information given on this the arsehole like she's the arsehole for saying that she's not technically it's not my grand yeah well technically we're related anyway so shut up we're all inbred. OP has offered the following explanation for why they think they might be the arsehole i don't want to babysit my grandkids since it's not biological my grandkid and i have no relationship with her that's the thing the first bit eh right but the second bit having you don't have a prior relationship with this child because they weren't letting you but then why weren't they letting you look after the kid in the first place what's going there's some we're missing huge chunks of this story yeah not the asshole it's not about the dna it's about snubbing you before but we are miss. no we're missing too much of this story to definitively say whether she's being the asshole or not because why would they say that her home is unsafe why would they say we don't trust you with a baby what's going on i feel like this comment section is gonna be a mess though op has given a bit more context i really don't want to maybe it was the ex but he really messed his relationship with his whole family it really did seem like he was looking down for us having country jobs huh my daughter has taken over the ranch my youngest son is a mechanic and my middle child is working as a park ranger what is that why they think that the house isn't safe because she has a ranch not the arsehole the son is a dunderhead but bit of the arsehole for going on about dna and stuff because it just doesn't really don't really matter we're all related whatever ah he said the horses were unsafe but those are in the stables i'm not going to take a ride with a baby on a horse the house is good even if it's a little old the only place i would say is unsafe is the cold cellar where you keep that locked it's a typical ranch that he grew up, grew up on yeah not the arsehole then horses are unsafe we're all the way out of the stables what an idiot what an absolute pussy old you you idiot and i guess if the house was that unsafe why would he be asking for the babysitting now not the arsehole but maybe some outdated views on biology as if it matters am i the arsehole for leaving my son's wedding early my son alan has just recently gotten married to helen i love them <laughs> 25 to 26 doesn't know doesn't know the age i love them both very much I don't think you do how old Helen it's relevant to mention that I really dislike parties and large gatherings I'm not sociable at all and I really just dislike them so it was kind of a downer when I heard that Alan and Helen were going to have a wedding with around 150 people I told Alan ahead of time that I'll probably leave early and that me and the rest of the family would take two cars and they could stay if they wanted to he looked like he didn't mind at the time so at the wedding itself after the ceremony I basically told him I was glad it looked great but I was going to go home he asked if I was going to at least stay for cake or food, but the food didn't look all that appetizing to me, so I just told him I was going to leave. He said, all right, whatever, just go. And I went back to my table to get my stuff. I told my wife, and she said she didn't feel comfortable driving back alone. The venue was very far from us, the roads there, not that great. I said, in that case, she should come with me, and after some hemming and hawing, she agreed, so we left. Then two days later, Alan's new wife bombarded me and my wife with messages that she was disgusted with us, saying horrible things about us and insulting us as people and as parents. Really just sickening. I told her off and asked why she thought it was okay to talk to in-laws like that. And she said that us leaving ruined the wedding for Alan. He was very upset for the rest of the night. She continued to berate us. I politely told her to leave us alone and called Alan, mainly to inform him that his wife had a temper he should know about. Oh, shut up. Absolutely shut the fuck up. When we talked about it, he basically started berating me too and said things like, you always do this, just leave me alone before hanging up. I feel like I'm justified since I told him ahead of time that I was, I was not going to stay. Am I the asshole? Since so many people care about the details, yes, there was a mother-son dance planned. Yes, he included me in the count for the food costs. Yes, I love him. No, this does not mean that I do not care for him. I mean, if you love someone, sometimes you just have to like put up with some things now if you don't like parties you don't have to you know because it goes like ceremony and then food and then there's speeches and then blah, like usually the family give a speech then there's more food and then later on there's like the reception part with the dancing and that kind of, and you don't need to stay for that if you don't want to but you could like stay for the food and the speeches and i guess the mother-son dance you 
Idiot! You're honestly an idiot! You're the arsehole. You didn't even stay for the meal they paid for. What an absolutely disgusting lack of love and respect from you as a parent. You also strong-armed your wife into leaving too soon, so your son had no parents present at his reception. How you don't see you're the arsehole is a mystery to me. Oh, God. Oh, but my daughter-in-law, oh, he, she's got a temper. Shut up, you sexist old bat. And it is just one day, one evening, big whoop. Like something that they're meant to remember for the rest of their lives, but now it's just gonna be tarnished with you going home. You missed all the traditional wedding reception things. You didn't make a speech. Your wife didn't dance with your son. He didn't have his parents there to celebrate with him even for an hour or two. You didn't express love, just a, hey, you look great, but I'm going to leave. And then you dragged your wife with you because you couldn't be bothered to give him two hours of your time at his wedding. Wow. Well, don't cry when your son stops speaking to you. Would I be the asshole for uninviting anyone who attended a winery day from my bridal shower and possibly wedding? My fiance, 32M and I, 30F, are getting married in a few months. We'll be dated for two years. When we first started dating, his sister and I got along great. But when I asked her to be a bridesmaid, she turned me down. I assumed because she would not be the center of attention. You don't really get along if that's your first assumption. Oh, it's all about her. You, but your ego is pissing me off. You think you're, you think you're the shit. Everything spiraled from there and now we are pretty much no contact with her. She is a brat, truth be told, and created a ton of unnecessary drama. Some highlights were showing up with no gift to our engagement party and not saying a word to us. She ran into my brother in public and was externally rude to him extremely rude to him. Her and her boyfriend denied this happened and called my brother a liar. Now she is no longer invited to the wedding. This summer, we made an effort to see other members of his family, so we've been spending our weekends meeting up for dinner with different members of his family. Naturally, the issues with his sister come up. I chose not to hold back and told them exactly what she did. I thought they should know how toxic she is and decide for themselves if they want her in their lives. It's not really your family or place to do that, though, is it? Now you just look like a shit stirrer. Yesterday, I saw on Instagram one of my fiancé's cousins posted a bunch of pictures from a girl's wine day. All his female aunts and cousins were there and of course the sister was there. I was so hurt that they wouldn't even invite me. It felt like the pictures were posted specifically to make me feel bad and show they took her side. Oh my God, newsflash, babe. Not everything's about you. You think you're so high and mighty. I'm supposed to be marrying into this family in a few months and they completely left me out. I reached out to one of his aunts. I thought I was close to and asked if my fiance's sister planned this. She said no, it was another aunt. When I asked why I wasn't invited, wow, the balls on this person though. Like I would, if I felt left out or something, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna stay at home and play games. I'm not gonna be like, right, who did what? When I asked why I wasn't invited, she said it was because of the drama between me and my fiance's sister. They didn't want the day to be uncomfortable, so chose to keep it to just family, which hurt to hear that they don't consider me family. This person is so entitled. Oh my God. I asked her if they meant they all took her side and she claimed no one was taking sides. If I chose to take it that way, it was up to me. I ended the phone call very upset. You sound like the dramatic one. You think you're so high and mighty. My bridal shower is in a few weeks and I don't want any of them there. It's for friends and family and obviously they don't consider me family so I don't, they don't need to be there. I want no drama at my shower. Doubt. And only people who are happy for me and love me there. I'm debating if I want them at my wedding but I will deal with that later. I have a mass email written up ready to send disinviting them for my shower. My fiance is fine with it. He can't stand his sister and is angry with his family. My maid of honour is trying to talk me out of it sending it saying it will ruin my relationship with his family and my wedding and upset my mother-in-law but I think it's already ruined. Wow. You're the asshole. If drama is constantly following you around, and I bet it is, you are the source of it. You can not have a relationship with your sister-in-law. You cannot have a demand that everyone else do the same. Yeah, I mean, it's just like, that is drama. That is causing drama for sure. You assume she turned you down when you asked her to be a bridesmaid because she won't be the center of attention. That's quite a judgment to make about someone you claim to get along great with up till that point. See? You took your brother's word over hers by an encounter. With what proof? You badmouthed her to her family. You assumed that pictures posted on social media were only there to make you feel bad. It's everything about you. And now you want to go nuclear and disinvite a bunch of your fiance's family members from your shower and possibly wedding. There is one common denominator in all these issues and it's not the sister. <laughs> You forgot to mention that the sister didn't bring a gift to the engagement party. I've never heard of people giving gifts to an engagement. I've, I don't think I've ever even been to an engagement party because I have no friends. I have no friends who are marriable, clearly. I don't know if this is a thing or not a thing. Whatever. You're the asshole. You're the center of the drama in your life and I don't think you're a very reliable narrator. Dot, 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 dot. You're not family? Lol, you haven't married into this family, but you expect them to cut out the sister who they have known presumably her entire life from birth until now in favor of someone they met in the last two years. That she she replied to a co to a comment saying, "My brother has a picture of her and her boyfriend walking away from him." Okay, firstly, 
weird to like people walk away and then you take a picture secondly that could mean anything they could have just had a conversation and then they walked off this person is in delulu land it me am i the drama i don't think i'm the drama maybe i am anyway that's all for today's video let me know what else you want on this channel remember to like comment subscribe i make new videos whenever i feel like it follow me on instagram I'll see you guys next time bye